Hey everybody, how's it going? We're starting another new game today. It's made by Insomniac Games. You guys could probably tell Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. One of the best PS2 games ever created. I haven't played it in over like a decade and a half and I thought, hey, this is a good opportunity to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. New game. I have set up um, all of my settings and controls, so we should be good. Um, that was a test file. Let's go ahead and get on the second slot here, and uh, let's get rolling. Blargy and Snagglebeast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and make. What? Th 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 that's cheating. On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargy and Snagglebeast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! <laughs> Agent. <laughs> Shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more. Scratch it. Agent Clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. He did say to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. They don't look that terrifying, <laughs> but... That an evil All right. robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be... Yeah, I don't know, man. <clears throat> in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. They kind of look like snails, to be honest. We're going home. Oh, okay, so Velden is our home? Good to know. in the Solana Galaxy. Oh, no. Not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive? The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. Bro, why does the music sound straight out of Star Wars right then? <clears throat> we even use a warp drive and everything. All right, looks like we're going home to defeat a bunch of snails, I guess. Velden, let's do it. Sounds like fun to me, to be honest. If you guys are wondering, I am playing on a PS2 emulator. <clears throat> so, um, I know, PS4 controller. Should be a good time. Here we go. Okay, really quickly, it looks like the options don't actually um, convert from save files. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're good. Here we go. And welcome back to the Solana Galaxy. Thanks. Let me just explore a little bit. So, um, I'm going to try to, you know, 100% the game as much as humanly possible. I'm not going to be using any form of guide or anything, but <clears throat> no, I'll be trying my best. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look, it's a new sergeant. Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. Ew. There's too many of them. We're all going to die. Oh, circle to maybe. Your shot blaster. What's wrong with a little bit of death, huh? Whoopsies. Am I, did I just almost die? I don't know. I like this shotgun. Very cool. Yeet. Am I glad to 
see you, Sarge. We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's got to take it out. Just shoot at him, bro. That somebody is me. We got a volunteer. Here, Sarge, take this. We'll cover you from back there. Bruh. All right. Try using the nitro launcher against that vehicle. All right. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeet. Let's grab our blaster again. I like the blaster much better. Reverse the camera controls in the options menu. Bop. You can also go first person like that. Weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. So you can just go bink, 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 boom. Easy peasy. Give me more ammo. So yeah, one interesting thing about this game is <clears throat> there is actually ammo. You can run out, which is cool, I guess. Um, so I guess I did the intro pretty quickly, but yeah, I played this game as a kid, and I remember it just being so much fun. I thought the weapons were just super unique, and I think, you know, the PS2 community as a whole, I think remembers this game fairly fondly. So I was... Honestly, I've been waiting to play this game for a pretty long time because I had such great memories of it. I'm kind of happy I'm <clears throat> finally getting the chance to really play it now. We'll see. I'm actually hoping to get it all done in a single day, preferably. Because I heard the playthrough is like like ten, either like 6 to 10 hours around that. So I guess we'll see. Bonk, bonk. But, yeah, <clears throat> the main thing that I love about this game is it has a unique, like, well, I say unique, but, like, the uh, weapon leveling system, the gun just automatically upgrades the more you use it. So, yeah, I just remember, like, the really, like, far, like, the deep upgrades are really, really cool. So, eh, that's what I remember from the game, and I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping it stays like that. I'm hoping my, you know... The bar is set really high, but, you know, I'm not, it, it is a PS2 game, so I'm not going to bring in too many expectations, but most of the PS2 games that I've played thus far have actually proven themselves to uh, hold up pretty well. And I'm, I'm expecting this game to be one of those that actually holds up pretty well. Don't ask me why, I just, I have an inkling that this game will hold up very well. I have high hopes. And it's, it's already kind of holding up, What's to be the honest. Situation? The Nords have fallen back to a base in F-Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out. F-Sector? No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, trooper. We've got a planet to save. Yeah, bro, who hired this guy? Like, you? why'd you go <laughs> into this career if you're just gonna be scared of everything, bro? Go back home and open up, like, a Waffle House or something, like... Why are why are you here? That's alright, though I understand. Yeet. Um, those are rockets. Let's just go all the way to the back to avoid them. Hey, always stay frosty. Gotta keep it creamy. I need to go closer. Get some more ammo rolling here. Out of what? Ow. Back it up, Terry. I'm trying to shoot this guy. Darn it, man. Hey, you guys are going to have to back it up. Oh, first upgrade. Here we go. Weapon has upgraded. Weapons Sick. upgrade automatically when they're used frequently. Hold circle to charge up the shot blaster for a more powerful attack. Alright, here we go. Bonk. Oh, we can't destroy that ship? That's a shame. Alright, you guys are gonna have to chill out for a second here, alright? Ew. Let's get our blaster out. It says if we hold it, we can charge a shot. Maybe we'll use it against this guy over here. Hold 
down L2 or R2 while running. Bink. Oh, I missed. I'm trash. Sir, we have a transmission from the president. How are things on the front line, soldier? Is is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top-secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu Forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of nature's mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be. One of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. Never. We would never let you down. I've never let anyone down once in my life, ever. Never. <clears throat> Alright, looks like we're going to some jungles. We're going to... That was Florana, but I'm going to call it Dagobah. Go to Dagobah and find our Yoda. Oh, gross. Alright, vendor. Here we can buy stuff. So I want this. All purpose of variety. I want this. But let's get the whip. Let's just buy it while we're here. The whip is actually pretty whip. cool. Hold R1 and press R1. circle. Oh, I can throw it? Oh, that's nasty. But Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit I gotta hit zero here. Whoopsies. Alright, cool. So this is one of those PS2 games where I can you know dip my toes in the water and not die Your instantly. Controller can be configured with multiple button maps, including a map that places the fire command on R1. To change to a different button map, press start, then enter the options menu and select controls. I think I'm cool. Um, I do gotta be careful though. If I stay in the water too long, a fish will eat me. So it's it's good to note. The jackpot crate multiplies all bolts and experience gained for a limited time. Oh, sick. Okay. Good. Oh, come on, come on. Where'd my whip go? Come on. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll do the rest by hand. All right, I think we managed to get all of it in time. Good, good. Very cool. But yeah, I. Also forget that the whip actually has a cooldown of its own, which kind of sucks. Come here. Give me some ammo, bud. Give me some ammo. Whoops. Whoa! Oh no. That's not good. Alright, we're good, we're good. I need some ammo, please. No more ammo. Oh! Okay, um, whip. Yeah, we're gonna have to increase our, like, stores. Because this is not a lot of ammo. How about you don't throw things at me, alright? That sounds like a plan to me. How about we don't do that? The world is better when things aren't thrown at me. Your question is, what do I do? Oh, I need to go up there. Can I... Perform a high jump, <clears throat> hold okay. R1, and press X. Hmm. 
secret loot. I love to see it. Ooh. To perform a long jump, run, then press R1 and X at the same time. Oh, sick. Okay, apparently that's something I can do. Let's use the nitro launcher a little bit just so we can whoo, use up a little bit of the ammo here. Yeet. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna punch this dude with my ratchet. Oh, I'm dead? Whoops. Right where we were at. Let's go and beat up these guys. Yeet. Yeah, this, this whip is really, really good. I'm gonna try not to run out of too much ammo or not waste too much ammo. Um, yeah, with like pits like these, I really should be just using my ratchet instead of using a gun. By jumping onto it and pressing X until you reach the top. Right, what is, is it just the ammo? <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, okay, it's just another one of these. Okay. Mm. Oh, how many? Okay. So I can buy a certain amount. Just three? Oh, I'll buy these. Yeah, let's buy 14 more of that. The whip is really good. I just jump? Wee. Alright, for that guy, I want to grab our gun here. Oh, wait, hold on. I should probably back up before I shoot that. Okay. Inferno mode. Your armor and wrench attack have been greatly increased for a limited time. Okay. That's nasty. You absolutely love to see it. Right before entering the little boss room. Alright, I like that actually. That's pretty cool. To jump between walls. Jump, then press X in midair while next to a wall. Classic PS2 moves. I don't know what's with like the PS2 generation, but they were just obsessed with like wall jumping. They saw it in one action movie and they were just like instantly like, yes, this is what we need to be doing with our games. But you know, I can't say I don't appreciate it because it is pretty cool. But if you look back to the PS2 era, every single game had some component of a wall jump. Like, jumping between two walls. Everyone just thought it was like the coolest thing back back in the early 2000s. Which again, can I blame them? No. Is wall jumping pretty cool? And as a kid, did I want a wall jump? Yes. You know. Oh, these things break? Okay. Well, noted. I should probably swing at more things to try to break them. Can I? Use a zip line, okay. Stand under it and jump. Ew, bugs. Nope, nope. Um, they only have a little bit of ammo. I should probably use these on these things. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Are they dead? Oh, they're just dead. Okay. Good. Let's bring on our whip. Let's get these guys to plump up. And I'm actually... I need health. Yeah, I don't know why I'm just acting like I'm invincible in the game and I'm, like, not s playing smart, but I'm losing a lot of health pretty quickly. I do have to be a little bit more careful here. Is this health? Okay, yeah, that's what I need. Uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? Behind you. Monkey. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? <laughs> you trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk path of death. But 
Sir. Help! Oh! Dead! <clears throat> okay. What do we got? Oh, right, we need a we need a couple more bolts for that. So not yet. All right, which one's the path of death again? I think it's that way. I mean, I'm assuming it's this way. All right, here we go. Doesn't seem that deadly to me. Wow, they're even throwing people at me. See, I say it doesn't look that deadly, and then I died two seconds in. So I guess that's my bad. My expectations are way too high for myself. Ouch. Stop that, dude. Woo! Alright. You guys are gonna have to let me get used to the game a little bit. Clearly, right now, I'm kind of cheeks. Can I use my weapons in here? Okay. Stop that. That hurts. My feelings... Enter the camera. Tap L1. I'm all right. <gasps> that was close. Yeah, a lot of these are closer than I'd like. Can y'all bundle up close to each other so I can get all of you out at once? You know, if you want to die in the trap, ow. If you want to die in the traps, that also works with me to be on. Oh, I'm going to die. Psych, I'm better. Maybe I should shoot these guys, like, preemptively. Okay, I gotta get the... Here we go. Made it. Oh, it's a bug. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Both of you can back it up right now. Yep, we're good. Ooh, now it's fire and rocks. All right. Easy enough. Looks like a little bit of a boss battle coming up, so I should probably. Yeah, let's just buy. Let's just buy ammo for everything. All right, here we go. Can not be. Okay. We walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Huh? <sighs> Dr. Nefarious. They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Huh? Jeez. This guy's even dumber than... Captain Quark? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Quove! <sighs> That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. <laughs> Ooh, where are you going, bud? <gasps> okay. Baby. Come on, bro. You can't take me on yourself? Come on, bro. That's disrespectful. I mean, is this all I have to do? I'm, I'm, I'm probably even like doing a little bit too much movement. I don't even have to touch my controller with one hand. I just, I just jump over his thing. Oop! I should probably still aim though. <laughs> all right, let's probably get some ammo here. Get some ammo rolling. Where you going, bud? Don't, don't, don't. Oh, okay. It looks like he's gonna go back. Whoopsies. He's gonna go back on his little. Whoops! All right, we're good. Oh God, you shoot! It's faster now. Okay. I'm out of ammo. Thank you. I'm gonna have to pull out another gun in a minute here. Actually, I could probably finish him off with this. 
Alright. Let's finish him off with the ratchet. There we go. So, Quark has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. He thinks you are his new leader. Great. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna be. Okay. I was like, I don't think he's gonna be big enough for the ship, but alright. Incoming call. This is Captain Sasha of the Starship Phoenix. The president has asked me to assist you. Uh, hi. I see you have located Captain Quark. Yeah, we got him, but, um, uh, well, he <laughs> thinks he's a monkey. Of course. <laughs> Bring him to the Phoenix, and we'll see what we can do. Sasha, out. Look at that, Clank. This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suite, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavic's Fireball Pro Controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, it's gonna have Ratchet bricked up. You gotta stop. Trip. Uh, why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. To view the world map, I'm always ready. Press select or R3. R3? Um, okay. Alright. Alright, let's go take Monkey Boy to his cage.